What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Jen, and in today's video, I'll be hydro dipping, sometimes called water marbling, on some glass candle holders with nail polish. For today's DIY project, I'm reviving some glass containers I've tested on in the past. Quick side note, this project was inspired by a gal in my sister's Color Street Facebook group. She shared a picture of her water marbled mug and reminded me that's a technique I've been wanting to try for a while. So that's what we're doing today. I started by gathering up my sandpaper and taking everything out to the garage. If you like videos like this, let us know by giving this one a thumbs up. Also, feel free to subscribe and choose all in the bell menu to get new videos every Friday morning at 6 a.m. Arizona time. We love DIY projects, home improvement, and even clean with me videos over here, so don't wait to join our fun group of peeps. And you can follow us on Instagram for sneak peeks and behind the scenes at all of our projects. We're at Valley Buzzsaw. I spent a few minutes sanding, but then had an epiphany. gonna try acetone. I don't have mineral spirits on hand, but acetone is the next best thing. I figured this acetone I used to take off my nail polish would do the trick. It cut through the spray paint and swiped it away like nothing. Sadly, I'm running low, so I did still sand some of the thicker areas off the last two pieces before using the acetone trick. I used some dish soap and cold water to rinse away any acetone residue, then left everything out on a rag to dry while I got my spray box and workstation area ready. Okay, so in an effort to kind of protect my worktop, I just laid down some wax paper and you can see I used some, sorry, my light is terrible in the garage. I used some masking tape just to put these pieces together, kind of piecemeal it together. I want to protect this surface from any overspray that might come out of the spray box and I've had that happen in the past, so I wanted to do something about it this time and not get pearlescent paint all over my gorgeous worktop. I also, let's, I don't know if it's gonna focus here for you guys, but I also flipped over the piece of wax paper that was in the bottom of the box before. Um, you can kind of see these squares here from when I did the clear coat on the coasters, but the other side of this piece was fine, and so I'm just gonna set up the glass on that, and we're just gonna get to spraying. The unfortunate reality is I have no idea how long I'm gonna make it out here today because it's already like 94 degrees outside. It's only 9.30 in the morning. <laughs> and uh, I don't know how well spray paint is gonna work. Before spraying, I masked off with painter's tape. I'm using the Delicate Surface by Scotch Brand and I taped a somewhat even line along the top and bottom edge. After the tape, I realized I needed something to block spray paint from the inside, so I cut down some cardstock inserts. I've had this Rust-Oleum metallic spray paint on hand for a few months. I originally bought it to act as snow on my concrete gingerbread house, but never used it, so the can is brand new. I set the squares on an angle to get better coverage and use some smooth spraying motions to get a nice even coat. I turned them to the opposite corner right away and finalized the first coat. After about an hour, I applied a second coat off camera. I let them sit for about an hour, then brought everything inside to dry overnight. I've tried water marbling with nail polish in the past, so I had a good idea of the concept and how to do the technique. I used a plastic bowl with a wide enough opening to completely rotate the glass piece because I want polish on all four sides and the base coat as fully covered as possible. To get started, I shook and opened all five bottles of polish. 
Then I slowly poured so a thin layer of nail polish coated the surface and spread out. Any large gloopy bits will just fall to the bottom. I used all five colors in a random pour. I wasn't going for a specific pattern, but really wanted a more natural, wave, or like beach inspired type of vibe. So I grabbed my popsicle stick and started randomly swirling, trying to break up any thicker lines without eliminating any of the colors. I spread the polish around the entire surface, then dunked the piece. Rotating it so all sides get covered. Once I was happy with the coverage, I used the popsicle stick to push the excess polish out of the way and pulled out the glass piece. Then I just repeated this process for the other three candle holders and left them all out to dry for about an hour. left to do was clean up. I pulled off the masking tape, used some acetone to clean up the bottom, inside, and top edges of the pieces, and this nail polish experiment was done. So what do you guys think? Personally, I'm super happy with the final results. And despite there being like some chunkiness and gloopy nail polish still left over, I think they turned out okay. I mean, especially considering where they started. The spray paint in my original hydro dipping experiment just never fully adhered and started flaking off, so I knew it was time to do something. And hey, if I end up hating these or the polish starts flaking off, I can always get some acetone and just bring them back to clear glass again. Leave me a comment and let me know how you guys think these turned out. And if you liked the video, you can feel free to give it a thumbs up. That's down below. Also, please consider hitting that subscribe button if you haven't joined our fun time party over here. And if you want a notification every Friday morning at 6 a.m. Arizona time when I try to upload a brand new video, just choose all in the bell menu. Also, all of our social media links are listed down below in the description if you want some sneak peeks and behind the scenes looks at all of our DIY projects. That's it for today. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one. Thank you. Yeah. It's mad. He went outside again for me because he loves me like that. Thanks, babe. Is that recording upside down? How is that possible? Holy hot. Oh man, I'm back. Too old for this? It's too hot out for this. Holy Hades, it's hot.
first reading. Which it wouldn't be if it wasn't so hot out here. My eyelashes are sweating. You just let it sit for a second, it eventually like pretty well skins over and then you can just yank all that blobbiness off the top. Uh-huh, it sure is. <laughs> all my hair again it's been so long since it's been short and um, sorry I'm just like looking at it in the monitor because it's so stringy and a mess I'm thinking of cutting it all off to like a nice cute little pixie again and maybe going like hot pink way in what do you guys think do it don't do it I don't know whatever it's just hair closer so I can read my script because your girl's old and blind now. Well, older and blinder at least. Nope, I've got a sweat stash again. Man, Arizona, you are killing me this summer. It's only like 9.30, no, 10.30 in the morning or something and it's already over 100 degrees. Like, I can't, I can't. Can't no more. I can't no more. Okay, you killing me, Arizona. The hat's probably not helping, but um, the hair can't do the hair. Winner. Cut and print, baby.